Hey, my name is Wakararia Bancroft, but you can call me Valeria for short. Me and my husband moved here to these lymph ducts about six months ago, and we just love it because it's so nice and warm, and we have everything we need. Over there in the wall, that's my cousin, Brugia. In the 1960s, the scientists found out that we were tricking him because we were acting like we're twins. But actually, she's only half my size. She doesn't like to live in the genitalia at all, and she chooses to have Mansonia for her vector vehicle, but I'm not that picky. Me and my husband moved here to the lymph ducts about six months ago. And since then, I've had a bunch of kids. For ease, I've named them all Microfilaria. It's just easy that way. But you know what? They're disturbing me because they're partying all night looking for new vehicle vectors. And here I am working hard in these limp ducks and they're sleeping all day. I have a hidden video of them from 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. last night. Let's see what they were doing. Let's go out to the peripheral blood circulation and find some vectors and get on out of here. Yep, exactly what I thought. Party all night and look for vectors. But I had a rumor the other day at the grocery store when I was picking up some glucose. Because our host is 45 years old and we've been living here so long and a lot of our relatives have died and we've made a lot of cemeteries with some collagen and calcium and whatnot that there's a bunch of rivers that are backed up and they're causing our host a lot of problems. They're, they've called it filariasis, whatever that means. Rumor has it that our host has called in for some help. I think they're called drugs or something. I think it's kind of like a mafia thing. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? I am Diethyl Carbamazine Man. What you gonna do?